Hey everyone, you're here with Chris and Goran, the King Dogs from Pink Dogs. Thank you for joining us here for your Group C matchup between Poland and Argentina at the World Cup. Chris, this is a game where a lot is at stake. Poland is at the top at the moment with four points. Argentina has three points in second place. Saudi Arabia is third with three points, while Mexico is fourth with one point. And uh, technically, Mexico could still jump to that second place uh, from the bottom of this group. Yeah, it's 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 a tricky spot to it's a well, it's a tricky group, I should say, to to you know try to try to figure out. I mean, could could Mexico pull something off here? Of course they could. I mean, Saudi Arabia had the game of their lives against Argentina and then fell flat against Poland. Um, but I think both teams sort of know what's at stake here. I don't expect either side to sort of just sit back and uh, and 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 leave their fate in the hands of another team. Um, cause that's technically what, what, you know, would happen for, at least for Argentina, should this game finish in a draw, you know, cause all of a sudden if Saudi Arabia wins, uh, Saudi Arabia goes through. And if Mexico wins, then, you know, we, we talk about goal difference. So, um, I, I'm going to go with, uh, a couple player props here and parlay them up. Um, and I think it's, I honestly, I think it's the path to least resistance. I think it might be one of the easiest player props I might've ever put in, in a soccer match. I'm going to go with Robert Lewandowski and Lionel Messi to each have uh, over 0.5 shots on target. So as long as they take one shot and it hits the target, we're, we're good. Um, it's at plus 108. Um, like I said, with with just what with the with the attacking that I think we're going to see from both sides in this game, I think it's obviously going to funnel through their top players for Poland, like Lewandowski, and for Argentina through Messi. So. That's where I'm going to go. I'm going to go with Lewandowski and Messi to each have over 0.5 shots on target. Yeah, what I was going to say, Chris, uh, I noticed that if a player hits a post or a crossbar or something, for some reason, they don't count that as a shot on target. That's strange. It is. And I'm, I'm like, like, what the hell is happening? I mean, is the post not part of the target? Is that not a goal itself? I mean, it is the target itself, right? <laughs> so... <laughs> I don't know why they don't count that or what's like, does it have to be like between the posts and, uh, or I just don't know, but I've noticed that they don't count that as a shot on target. So hopefully uh, they don't hit the post and, uh, or, or something like that. But like you said, Chris, if, if you don't know what to pick in a game, if, if you, you can decide, just go with a player prop, that's something easiest you can do and especially if you have Lewandowski and, and and Messi playing in the same game I mean get plus money for those two to have at least one shot on target each I think that's a fantastic bet uh, to be honest and uh, I'll be putting a whole unit on it because like we said a lot is at stake here for both of these teams I mean Poland is going through with a draw but Argentina I think they're clearly they were solid against Mexico. They still haven't reached their maximum, which probably isn't going to happen in this game as well. But I think that they're waking up and they're playing better and better. And uh, I think they deserve to be the big favorites they are in this game. So it's going to be a hard, hard game for Poland here. They will need to be solid defensively and then wait their chance on the counterattacks, in my opinion. Because if something strange happens in that second game between Saudi Arabia and Mexico... We could easily see Argentina going home, and uh, that would be a huge disappointment for what probably is Messi's last World Cup, Chris. Yeah, it would be it would be absolutely disappointing, and uh, I don't know. It's just for for all the for all the you know uh, the the you know chaos on social media about how Argentina, you know, a lot of people are picking Argentina to win the World Cup, reach the final. If Messi, you know, bows out like that in what, like you said, what is his probably his final World Cup? It, it would it would almost feel just incomplete. I don't I don't know the other word I'm looking for. It just feels it just it would just feel like like I, I don't want to say a waste, but you you know what I'm trying to say. It's not like it's 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 just it feels like they're like it just what could have yeah. been. I mean. He reached the World Cup Finals, what was that, 2014, uh, they lost. I actually think he had better team then than he has now, but uh, yeah. do we really have to rely the whole 
team on the 36-year-old Messi. I mean, he's still a fantastic player, but he's not Messi from like three or four years ago. So let's be honest, he needs a much stronger support cast now than, than he needed back then. So maybe some of those players will finally step up and we see something from Argentina. But you have that nice player prop, Chris. I will go with the first half draw at uh, plus 110. I have it on my book, plus 118 now, actually. Uh, I think that Poland starts very defensively here just because they don't have to do anything. They are at the top of this group and with the draw they are going through. And then in second half I think Argentina will have to push more and more and more. And uh, if they score, they score. But I think that the first half will actually be nil-nil draw. I think that's what we can expect from this game. Oh, it wouldn't surprise me at all. But uh, yeah, I'm sticking with the player prop because I... I really have no strong feelings about either side in this game. There you have it, guys. This should be a hard-fought battle between Poland and Argentina. Uh, thank you for joining us here for your free picks. And uh, make sure you check the rest of them up on the Pig Dogs YouTube channel, guys. There's a free parlay of the day as well. Parlays of the day, uh, to correct myself. And, of course, for our best bets, go to Pig Dogs Premium section and see what we have up there. See you guys soon with more free winners.